Hello, you guys. Hello, and welcome. Welcome to the 2018 Wave Race 64 Shibby's Rankings. Starting soon. Starting now. <sighs> Thank you guys for being here in the chat. Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, this has been an awesome year. 2017 has been really awesome. And there's been quite a few shakedowns towards the top of the game, too. And, uh, all throughout the rankings list. And I was, I was looking at this, this list, you know, ten ranked players plus three honorable mentions. <clears throat> it was like a really good model for last year and the year before that. But, uh, that being said, I did want to announce a couple of changes to the list. First of all, my full disclosure. This rankings list is rather arbitrary. Because when I'm ranking players across the board, some of them who have all of their times updated, some of them who only have a few but they're extremely strong times, and then other players who have, you know, everything submitted and a couple of strong courses here and there, a couple of weak courses on other other areas. <clears throat> so what I do to the best of my ability is I take all of the information available to me and I, I weigh it according to what's important at the time, what's important like to that player, because you know, in the past, having a full time sheet wasn't what's really important, but in this era, we are moving to a time where the more times that you can submit, the more talent that you can show, <clears throat> the more talent that you can show me that you have, the higher up on this list you're going to be. The more courses you play, the more opportunity I'm going to have to see you play, but it's just going to help the other players see you play as well and you know if everybody sees you getting all of these times I think that is you know that's probably the best show of uh, of skill that you can you can you can show period so that being said I do want to announce a new section of our list. Some players, after extreme inactivity, will earn a new spot called Legends. So we have two new we have two spots for Legends now. This is kind of Think of it as our Hall of Fame. Once you go Legend, you can't be removed from the Legends, okay? <clears throat> However, a Legend is allowed to come back and be ranked again. So, for example, if I became a Legend, <clears throat> and I retired and I didn't play, and you can't be a Legend while you're still playing, okay? You can't become a Legend until you have stopped playing. But, uh, here we have two legends. One of them has been ranked on my list before, and one of them has not. <clears throat> so I'll put these players up. We have Walls and Marla as the first inductees of, of, of our legends. So I do want to, I, I know that probably neither of these guys, probably neither of these guys are going to see this video, but Jason Walls and Stefan Marla, uh, you guys, I mean, on behalf of the whole community, thank you guys for everything that you did in this game, uh, well before any of us who still play today uh, were playing, well before. 
So thank you guys. And uh, hopefully either of these guys or even both of these guys pick up the controller again one day. Even if just to give this another shot and try it again. Of course, Jason Walls. Uh, he's a very notable player. Very likely uh, accomplished. Like the first 112 on Drake Lake. Which at the time, st our statistics show that it was a two-second untied when he achieved it. And of course, everybody knows Marla for his accomplishments in the PAL version of the game. He held most of the world records for, I think, about a decade. Uh, some of them have fallen now. Um, and of course, his stunt mode beastliness is always worth a mention. <clears throat> So, a qualifier for being a legend in the future, honestly, <clears throat> I would say being one of the top players of your time, you know, holding multiple world records, uh, just having some kind of longevity and a huge impact on the community. I did not put Miss Yukon as a legend, mainly because we only ever saw that one submission from him. And uh, he hasn't really been a part of the Wave Race community outside of that a whole lot. But, uh, you know, that being said, I think <clears throat> it's uh, in the attempt at just making legends um, a, a more prestigious thing to earn. Like, you're not just going to earn it by, by showing one time. It's going to have to be... It's going to have to be a... Uh, a project for you to get into that. So <clears throat> let's uh, let's get into the list, shall we? Let's actually. I'm gonna start right into the top ten, and we're gonna work our way back <clears throat> to our honorable mentions because. You know, sometimes if I just show the whole list, then it gives away who's going to be the HMs, and if I just give away the HMs, it pretty much gives away the ninth and 10th spot automatically on the list. So, instead of giving away anything, <clears throat> hey Jago, so here... Here we go, at number 10, and, and I think this might surprise this player, and it might surprise a few of the other players, especially the ones that he passes as well. Hasn't been super, super active lately, but when I was looking over the timesheet, you know, and especially when I'm weighing, having a full timesheet being important, having an, a good overall time, or combined time between a bunch of different courses or the entirety of the of all of the courses <clears throat> number 10 I am giving it to mr. Gilly guide it is a two spot drop but given the circumstances surviving on the top 10 as it may be a surprise to him it's not that much of a surprise when you look at things like overall time uh, Gilly Guide is a 951 forward, 951 220. So that does beat both Quick Person and Androgene in uh, in forward time. It's not quite as fast as Modal, Hoshi, or Game, or Analogism, but he's right there on the cusp, and he is keeping his spot. The minus two next to his name is that he dropped two spots. <clears throat> He dropped two spots over the last ranking period. Last uh, July was the last rankings, and he was eighth. So good job to Gilly Guide holding on to that number ten spot for at least one more one more season here. We'll see. You know, I know he's pretty busy right now, but we'd all love to see a little bit more play out of Gilly Guide, <clears throat> the other super moderator of our community as well. Um, Gilly's top uh, courses here, he's holding that 111.213 on Marine Fortress Reverse, well in the green of course. If I bring up his uh, 
Oops, I'm looking at the... Alright. Gilly Guide averages about 9th or 10th place overall, like when you look at the, the whole board here. <clears throat> He's got top 10s in, it looks like, uh, Marine Fortress with 109.966. Ninth place on, or that was 5th place. Poor Blues, ninth place. Uh, with 119.847. I mean, these times are right behind Benchmark. Those are the the Jetter courses. I think he does play a little stronger on the the Miles Jetter courses. But then if you look at, like, Glacier Coast, 117, and Twilight City, 125, those are both top 10 as well. Reverse is now more heavily weighed than it ever has been in the past. I promise you this, I am encouraging all of the players to spend more time on reverse. Don't forget about forward because still earning forward top threes I think is harder than earning reverse top threes. So challenge yourself to do both, but don't just settle for a top 10 time in reverse anymore. That being said, all of Gilly's reverse times are top 10. His best one is that MFR fourth place. So again, congrats, Gilly Guide. Let's go to number nine. Number nine on this list is like our one friend from this country. Came in from another game tore things up during the 2017 Olympics. Did a great job for Germany. I'm talking about Koiro Hoshi staying on this list in the number nine spot. <clears throat> Koiro, a very impressive player overall. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna bring up his, his uh, overall time here. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna make my mouse wireless. That'll make things easier on me. Okay, so Koira Hoshi missing a couple of benchmark times that, I mean, we all know that he's going to get these things like, uh, if my mouse could cooperate, please. Alright, here it is. <laughs> Alright. Like 109 on, uh, Marine Fortress, of course, that's always a tough one. And then, uh, <clears throat> we've got the 105 on, on Sunset Bay. 951.098 is his overall forward time. 1019.099 is his overall reverse time. And I mean, he's got benchmarks like Twilight City Reverse 135. Um, had the Drake Lake reverse benchmark until last week when two new players got it. So good stuff there. Uh, Hoshi's looking at his ILs. Um, his best placing on forward is Marine Fortress. He's got fourth place with a 109698. And his best on reverse uh, looks like his best placing is a third place. He's on the medal podium with a 117.385 on Port Blue reverse. So good stuff. Actually, you know, 117 is still really tough. Only one player has 116. Or only two players have 116 and one of them is me with 115. So good stuff. To Koiro Hoshi. Um, you guys want to spend a couple of minutes talking about uh, honorable mentions, shall we? I think that might be a good idea because there's some interesting things to talk about here. So, honorable mentions, you know, when I was putting this all together, uh, When I'm putting this together, and I have this huge community now in comparison to when I started, it used to be really easy to sit down and make a list because there was huge gaps in between each player. So it was almost obvious 
in the past where everybody should fall on the list. In this list, it wasn't even obvious who made it as an honorable mention and who didn't. So I had to take a different approach. That approach was, and I told myself and I told Gilly, I do not want to make this list more inclusive. I don't want to add spots because it makes it too easy. It makes it mean less to be on this list. So, so <clears throat> what I did is I am expanding our honorable mentions by quite a bit. I'm going to show everybody where about they fall in the community with this list. Now, there's no way for me to rank every player. So, but I can get almost everyone who cares. And here's how I'm going to do it. First of all, let's take this false honorable mentions thing off. Trying to figure out which one I want to do first. Okay. So. We have two tiers of honorable mentions now. And so you can kind of judge by which tier you fall in. The tier one is going to be the, you know, the... the the better overall honorable mentions players or you know the more exposed players and the tier two players are just going to be you know, usually newer players or players who don't play often enough to make the higher rank i don't want to say that they're bad they are participating with us and they're some of them have benchmark times some of these players in the honorable mentions have benchmark times so actually, if you look at this, this is 18 spots. So, you know, that being said, I think that we can keep prestige, especially in the tier one honorable mentions, but even in tier two, because we have hundreds of people who have submitted to our website. So we're still talking about a top 18 here. So, uh, which tier should I do first? Which tier do you guys want to see first? How about... How about tier 2? So, tier 2... We've got a f we've got four players, including As Money, Baba Kanoosh, Bunta, and Stone Cold. Now, a, a bunch of these players, it's their first time. Stone Cold Hard is a uh, former moderator of our community. He has a timesheet filled on everything. And if you're new to the community, uh, go for his times. Like, try to beat his times. They are good standards for uh, a player to come in and uh, try to execute right off the bat. Abunta, our friend from New York, he's trying to get a recording set up, or we're trying to get him to get a recording set up, because he does have some talent for sure, and he plays on Sony PVMs. So we're all kind of jealous of his uh, RGB output and N64 capabilities. Baba Kanoosh is one of our newer moderators. He's going to be a uh, good player if he sticks with it. He's on the cusp of the 103 on Sunny Beach, and as is as money. Really close to the 103 on Sunny Beach, really close to the 106, uh, 105 on Sunset Bay, and also getting pretty close to the 111 on Drake Lake. I, you know, if I have a prediction, I think As Money isn't going to be in Tier 2 for very long. Uh, tier 1, um, this is where, you know, this is where things pretty much get too close to call. So a few players on this list also have benchmark times. I'm talking about Admiral Smith, Andy Panther, the Androgene, and Quick Persons IND. Before you say anything, think about this. 
All four of these players have a benchmark time, or two, some of them three. Um, 111.7 Admiral Smith has on Drake Lake. It's obviously his mo his strongest course, Drake Lake. Um, he's a great player with a ton of missing times on his timesheet. So of course that has an effect. Um, who is this? Uh, Andy Panther. Uh, Definitely, he's been ranked in the past, too. He does have top 10 times across the board in reverse still. I guess what I would like to see out of him to see him move back up into the top 10 would be to strengthen his forward times mostly. I mean, not that they're even weak. We still have uh, top 10 time on Marine Fortress from Andy Panther with a 111-611. Uh, really strong stuff. He does well on the diving courses, too. Uh, 126 399 on Twilight City. That's good stuff. I'm moving over to like Quick Person, I and mean, we just saw a lot of good stuff out of him this week. Another, uh, the 103.801 that we corrected on the, the leaderboards that Modal and I found. Uh, he did just get a 105 on Sunset Bay, as well as a 111 on Drake Lake, and I saw that 116 on Glacier Coast. I saw that. So congratulations to Quick Person for that stuff. I mean, the end regime, not to be outdone at all. We're, we're looking at top 10 times on Drake Lake with a 111.876 from the end regime. Um, 111.424 on Marine Fortress. And Southern Island, he's almost got the benchmark on that too, 115.214. And of course, I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't mention his recent um, moving of the benchmark on Drake Lake reverse down to... Uh, uh, down to 111 so the pluses and minuses mean how many spots you moved up and down uh, between this and the last list so uh, the last list you were not an honorable mention quick person and this time you are that's a plus one and you had been before so you don't have new next to your name since you have been on the list before so welcome back as an honorable mention, Quick Person. You definitely earned it. And I think, uh, I think Quick, if, if you fill out your timesheet with similar times to what you have already gotten, uh, there is no way that you will not be in the top 10 unless we have an explosion of talent come through and, and wipe us all out. So those are our... Those are our uh, our honorable mentions. Tier one: Admiral Smith, Andy Panther, the Energy, and Quick Person. And tier two: As Money, Baba Kanush, Bunta, and Stone Cold. All right. So let's move in here. We are back into the top 10. We're at number eight right now. And number eight, this this decision also might come as a bit of a shocker to some of our players because it is a bit of a, uh, a, a drop in ranking. But again, not because uh, this player did anything poorly. In fact, this player has been playing and setting some really nice times. I am actually... <laughs> Okay, where is it? I'm talking about analogism. Staying in the top 10, dropping to number 8. My reason for the decision to drop analog down to number 8 mostly has to do with missing submissions. He does The submissions that he does have are very strong. There is no argument against that. Things such as Glacier Coast 115, 745. And uh, Drake Lake 111.593. Um, but we don't have any submissions on reverse. We're missing Southern Island. Uh, missing videos for a lot of, of times. And, I, I, you know, it's not that I don't count times that don't have video. But, 
you know, we, we need to see these. These are very important, especially for players working to pass a player like this. We can't have very many unclaimed times, or times that don't have video, that really, really, really should have video. To move up in this list, Analogism would have to uh, submit some times maybe on reverse. I know he's working on the port blue right now. He does have it down to 118.4. That's third place. That's definitely a very, very strong submission. It's what he's been working on this year. And I expect that he is going to get very close to to tying 117 if he doesn't do it. You know, he's going to get there. Also, he's, for being such a good player with Mariner, uh, Analog struggles very much with the dive on, for example, on Twilight City. It's it's all in his head though. He's got this. He's a really good player. We all we all know that he is. Uh, just looking at the timesheet, uh, just to mention his notable times. Analog is a an unproven 103.518 on uh, Sunny Beach. Uh, 111.593 on. Drake Lake, 118.486 on Port Blue, 115.745 on Glacier Coast, and 114.760 on Southern Island. I mean, those times are very, very, very strong, but I would love to see video of these, and I would love to make them officially on the, on the, the leaderboards, you know? By the way, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Modal for sending me the the spreadsheet of everybody's times, and it's all color coordinated. And it looks great. Thanks for doing this. It was it was a very useful tool in assisting me uh, make a more accurate rankings list. Um, however, I didn't base everything on the the stats. I also tried to base things on consistency and uh, performance in like RTA um, you know overall just as much as I could as much as I could all right uh, So, we're moving on to 7th place. 7th and 6th were really hard to decide. They're very similar as far as their, their spreads. But, uh, you know, just uh, I think either of them are happy to be ranked this high and to have not seen their names yet. I know that that's kind of how it works getting up to this point. You... You're hoping that the next name is not yours because you want to see your name even higher. You know, I know how that works. And as soon as I play the music, I think it's going to be a giveaway who it goes to. So, I mean, congratulations to Modal for pulling in 7th as a new addition to the rankings list. Uh, honestly, I had him behind Analogism up until last week uh, when he pulled in a 124 on Twilight City. Oh man, that run was amazing, Modal. You know, thank you for grinding out my favorite level like that. Uh, Modal's got a full time sheet. Thank you, thank you. Fully proven. Videos on all of these. Uh, 103.7 on, on Sunny Beach for 5th place. 7th on Sunset Bay. 8th on Drake Lake. Rookie of the Year, game says. For the second half of 2017. I guess that's Rookie of the... Half Year. 124.855 on Twilight City, beating Ilu. That's actually the first 
player to be Illu since, uh, to like newly be Illu since Mo earlier in the year. Mo was, I don't know if Mo is even going to count as a rookie. I guess maybe, yeah, because he was new to the, the list last year, wasn't he? Yeah. But he's got uh, third place on a few lap, laps as well. And, of course, the third place on Sunny Beach Reverse at 106.3. Really good stuff. I know he's going to be going for the 105 this year to try to tie 105 on Sunny Beach Reverse. Um, also, I mean, I'd like to see uh, maybe a 135 on Twilight City Reverse from him. And a, I think, you know, in the big picture, maybe even... 115 on Glacier Coast would be things that I could see Modal going for and actually getting. Actually getting. Because he, he'll grind for a long time for things. Very nice job, Modal. Very impressive first appearance on the list. Uh, he's our second newest moderator as well. Uh, being only joined later by the Androgene as a moderator. So good stuff. Uh, let's see, what music should I use for this next player? Well, I already used that. <laughs> He'll appreciate this. Um, machine select for the machine himself. So another player that participated in Kapod with me and Modal. And we are going to give number six to game this year. Uh, he's been all over the list. He does have a plus five because apparently he started caring this year when I did the Olympics. So the Olympics got game back into this where he got a couple of medals. Actually, he got one gold, one silver, and three bronze medals in the Olympics. So that was awesome. And then watching the Unhorde, uh, nobody was ready for the Port Blue 118.6 that he had. Uh, looking at the rest of his list, uh, 111877 on Drake Lake for 10th place. Getting 10th place on Drake Lake is very difficult now. Yeah, people did doubt game. Even when when I saw his uh, Unhorde videos, that when he first sent them to me, I even said, oh man, I thought you were getting passed on the Shibby's ranking for sure until I, until I saw this. You know, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was like, I, I, I was kind of worried about your ranking until I saw these. And then, of course, he continued to unhoard after Kapad. So we got to see even a few more PBs after that video. He's got two, uh, he's got three second place times on reverse. Those would be Sunny Beach reverse with 106.1. Drake Lake reverse, 111.9. And Glacier Coast reverse... Uh, removing me from having a two-second untied, changing it to just a one-second untied, he now has 121.7. So game pulling in sixth place, above analog and above modal, and that was that was a close call for those last three in a row. Very very close call. Oh man. All right. Where is it? Okay. What's this? Yeah. We'll listen to the new record for this one. We haven't seen a new record from this player in a while. He is holding on to a new PB on Drake Lake. And he is the former world record holder of Sunny Beach. We're talking about Ryan Lockwood being at number five. He keeps his number five spot. 
He's been playing Drake like. Honestly, he has the biggest stream out of any of us as well, which always helps Wave Race get a little bit more. Oh, the <laughs> Snake Solid donated. 108 on Sunset Bay Reverse for. <laughs> yeah, if you. You did have a 108? What did you do with it? I thought you. Well, thanks for the $6, though. Appreciate that donation. Um, but uh, Lockwood taking in the fifth place spot. He's got things like Sunny Beach 103.3, Drake Lake 111.4, uh, Sun, uh, sorry, Southern Island 114.3. Rigged the rankings for taking donations. Oh, um, I got a donation from Game, uh, so he's up to number three, and, uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, thanks again for that. Uh, so Lockwood, hopefully he, uh, I mean, he's playing right now, not right right now, but he's been playing, uh, Drake Lake, and, uh, you know, I would love to see, I would love to see him, uh, you know, diversify his portfolio a little bit and get some more records on some other courses. Obviously, he has success when he plays other courses. Southern Island, come on, man. All right. Now we get into the super familiar names. Uh, no, you guys cannot buy the, the spots above these. Sorry, these are too expensive for you. We're to the point of, uh, like, 800 to 1,000 hours plus. So if $100 was worth 1,000 hours to me, then I might take that bribe. But... You want to know something that frustratingly does not take someone a thousand hours that would take me a thousand hours? Not that. So we're back to Drake Lake here. And our former champion, Illu Dude comes back again this year. I was gonna mark him as ineligible. And I had every right to. He he played a little bit. He did get a PB on Drake Lake, but he didn't have a good enough video. And he said it himself. I didn't tell him that he couldn't submit it. He withdrew the submission or did not submit it because of the quality. But he's played enough where I could see how good he is and he submitted a Drake Lake reverse PB of 112.0 which puts him in fourth. It's his only submission of the year which qualifies him for the ranking. Illu Dude. It's been years since he has submitted on either of these courses. Sunny Beach, he still maintains 9th place with 103.8. Sunset Bay still maintains 5th place with 105.5. And uh, let's see, what else? 118.7 on Port Blue for 5th place. 124.9 on Twilight City, which was 4th place until last week. Glacier Coast, 116.1. That's 4th place. Southern Island, 114.9. That's 7th place. The only thing that he's PB'd on in the last two years is Drake Lake, Drake Lake 1 lap, and Drake Lake Reverse. And he is averaging between 1st and 2nd place on, on those three submissions. Every time on his sheet was either first or second place at the time of submission 
Anyone who argues against Illudude being ranked really high, uh, I think my response to that person is you do not understand the level that Illudude plays this game at. If you don't think that he is a top four player, you don't understand this game. Congratulations to Illu. What I would love to see, instead of dropping out of the top four, is another player coming and challenging him full force and actually beating him in his own game. I'm talking about Drake Lake. If we can get somebody to beat him on Drake Lake, then we might start to see a little bit of a little bit of uh, faltering in his ranking, and also we might see him come back and try to beat that. Game says, game says, uh, he's the best speedrunner in this game. Yeah, he could be the best speedrunner in in our game. You know. He definitely has the the strength to show it, and his inactivity is the only thing keeping his placements down. I mean, he would still, I'm convinced, he would still be at the top if he were still playing. So we are now to number three. This is where it gets really interesting, doesn't it? because we have close calls up here. The only three players left are myself, Hayate, and Mo. in case you don't know. A lot of you guys are thinking it. You know the three players that are up there. It's, it's not anybody new who hasn't been on this list before, so I'm not spoiling anything for you by telling you that those are the three players left. But in order to order these three players, I have to figure out what's important to each player, what's important to the community, and where, you know, obviously both of both of these next three players, or all three of these next three players want to have the number one spot. If they don't have it, they both want, the remaining two want the second spot. So... This comes down to A, a judgment call between a player who is very dominant in time trial and has no record of RTA runs of any kind versus the former champion who is still capable of getting world records and did in 2017 and still one of the top three RTA runners in every category as well. So... How do I determine who gets third, who gets second, who gets first? Well, I had to look. I'm delaying starting the music because, again, the music might give this one away. Screw it. Let's just go. Third place. We're given third place this year to Hayate. Such a great player, a great streamer, and a great champion of our game. Still holding many records uh, in the top three, such as Sunset Bay, 105.421. Twilight City, 124.762. Those are both third. Um, second place in many of the lap times. I won't even read them all, but... Uh, third place in Glacier Coast Reverse, which is kind of a surprise after all this time. 122.397 is still third. And then second place in Twilight City Reverse with a 135.5. So he definitely sets a high standard for all players below him. And to beat him, you really have to be one of the best players that our game not only knows now, but our game has ever seen. And that leaves, you know, <laughs> a very limited field of players here. 
I did want to look at Hayate's full game runs if uh, if the website will load for me. Yes. Second place in Championship Normal, second place in Hard, third place in Reverse, third in Expert, third in All Championships. Amazing stuff by Hayate, definitely a leader in our community. A silent leader, the strong silent type. We don't hear a lot from him, but when we do, it's usually something really impressive. No, we're starting this music from the beginning. <sighs> well, we're reaching the end of the list, you guys. There's only two players left. Number two. Number two, we see times from this player once in a while. He is definitely leading the pack and has earned the second place spot. Of course, this is Mo, Mo. Taking over the number two spot from Hayate. Um, just looking back at the year 2017, he medaled in the Olympics in all 16 courses. All eight forward and all eight reverse courses for a 16 for 16 spread, man. Amazing stuff. He is the rightful heir to the second, second place throne at this time. And he is the best prospect to take down our current champion. And the champion this year. I mean, I do want to talk a little bit more about Mo, but I mean, his, his spreadsheet just speaks for itself between low 103 on sunny beach low 105 on sunset bay low 111 on drake lake i mean he's got all the benchmarks they're all low and his best his total time is better than second place's total time or i mean third place's total time by like seven seconds or so but I'm giving myself, again, the number one spot for the full spreadsheet of first places except for Drake Lake. Uh, first place is across the board in RTA. And I wanted to talk about the, uh, wanted to talk about the untied records. How could you place yourself as number one? Yeah, like Modal says, there's that 11 second difference between Mo and and myself. I wanted to talk about the the untied records, the ones that still stand. A sun uh, sunny beach reverse 105 accomplished on January 2nd, 2016. That is stood for 710 days. Marine Fortress, three lap. Uh, nope, that one's over. I just didn't mark it. 107. That's tied by Hayate. <laughs> um, Marine Fortress, reverse. 109. Accomplished this year. December 1st. Or last year, I guess, because it's 2018 as I speak. Uh, Port Blue 117, March 15th, 2016. Untied for 637 days. Port Blue 1 lap, 24 seconds. December 30th of 2015 for 713 days. Port Blue Reverse 115, 546 days ago on June 14th, 2016. Uh, Twilight City 123, the second oldest... Untied in the game now. Uh, Twilight City 123 was October 27th, 2015. 777 days. Now the oldest one, or I'll skip a couple here. The oldest one now is Southern Island 3 lap 113. 
Southern Island 3 lap 113. It's from August 16th, 2015 for 849 days. The longest one I ever had just actually ended. This one just ended. It was, uh, where did I put it? Okay. Drake Lake Reverse 111. Oh, you know what? The The number of days aren't correct on this. They're all missing like 30 days because this was on December 1st. <laughs> Not January 1st. Well, anyway, Drake Lake Reverse. This one is complete. Uh, this one got tied twice on the same day by Game and the Androgene. And... Uh, the 111 lasted for 1,145 days. It was my longest untied. So that was the info. But this is our new list I, as a special. For the next month, our ranked players, both honorable mentions and top 10, will have a special color, like goldish. The higher on the list you got, in, in the Discord is where the color will show up. The higher you got on the list, the lighter your gold shade will be. And uh, here we go. The lighter your shade will be, the darker it will be, the lower you are on the list. But... I mean, this is our list. Oh, I mean, the, in the future, what I want to see is players striving to get to the top of this. You do so now by getting great times, beating the players ahead of you, completing your time sheet, fill it out to get times on every course. Uh, benchmark times, obviously. You know, you can find our benchmark times list on our, our website. Uh, right here, I'm shaking it around on the screen. You can just find it there on the forums. And chase down some of these records. Watch the tutorials by Gilly Guide. He's got great tutorial content. Uh, when you're getting really good, you can start watching my tutorials too because they're going to help you push it to the next level. Uh, my next tutorial is going to be Twilight City 123 tutorial. I would expect that this month sometime, as I usually do one a month, give or take. I mean, it's not a very consistent one a month, but on average, it's about one time a month. I hope you guys enjoyed the broadcast of the Shibby Rankings for January 2018. Uh, the discussion will be opening in the Discord shortly after this uh, stream ends. I'll be live in the Discord to talk about the rankings and to answer questions, uh, answer to criticism, which I'm sure I'll have some when it comes to this, especially by players maybe ranked a little bit lower than they think they deserved. Just remember, like I said, um, there was no perfect way to do this. There definitely was not a perfect way to do this. I lost sleep over it. I always do. Um, I didn't go to bed last night until about 5 a.m. That's why my hair is all messed up. Because I had to take a nap. Um, I was going to actually do this stream at like 4 o'clock. But ended up not working out that way, you know? <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, uh, this list will also be copied to the forum at uh, WR64. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your New Year's Day, and I will uh, host Bonesy, a former Wave Race player, and uh, you guys can check him out. It looks like he's playing uh, something, Super Cloud Built. 